Today's video is going to be discussing the Mechanologist class. It's a personal favorite of mine and it's what I built the channel around. I wanted to spend the video today to talk about a couple things. First of all, what the class has been doing so far, class identity, but then also starting to branch out and maybe start to theory craft a new direction for the hero. So today we're going to be looking at two different future outcomes for the hero, just purely a speculation, not as anything concrete or really solved, but just throwing two simple ideas out there of what Mechanologist could look like in the future. To begin with, Mechanologist first debuted in Arcane Rising, the second Flesh and Blood set. Up until now, its class identity has been kind of built around a lot of above rate vanilla raw damage attacks with go again using the boost mechanic to banish a card in exchange for go again and then also incorporating this idea of a board state you also had items some of them are permanent like induction chamber and some were temporary like teclacore and that philosophy has been pretty prevalent up until now so that's the main portion of dash is between go again attacks and a board state temporary but also sometimes permanent there are decks that do both of those already that exist in flesh and blood that i think have a more well-rounded identity in terms of permanence, you have the Illusionist class between Prism and Dromai. These are decks that build allies and auras. And in aggro, you also have the Rune Blades, but also you have the original Ninja class. So when you look at that, it seems like Dash is flexing in between two archetypes that already exist, that already have heroes that have really robust card pools that already seem to fulfilling both of those roles. The first thing is to actually push it and introduce Dash and maybe the Mechanologist class is an ally-based class. So here is a hero that I designed, Avalon Nexus Vanguard, a Mechanologist hero with four intellect and 40 health, as a once per turn action to pitch three, put up to one steam counter on a construct you control, go again, and then mirroring the Dromai ability. If you have boosted a card this turn, one of the attacks, your mechs will gain go again while attacking. Now, mech can pivot into a more board state focused class. Now, if you're wondering how the constructs work, I'll get to that in a second, but basically the constructs requires steam counters to eventually transform into their ally counterparts. They will vary based on how many steam counters they need to flip. And here's another card synthesize. So this would be another way to accumulate steam counters on your constructs. And this one would banish itself, but will have synergy with one of the mechs that it would possibly transform. So to actually look at what the construct cards do, these would be items that would have a cost to be played on the field and then would need to accumulate steam counters in some form before transforming. So here we have construct B2, would be an item, pitches for three, cost zero, but it requires you to accumulate six or more steam counters on it to then transform it. So because that's going in, you could chain it with uh, synthesize, for instance, but once you flip it, it would turn into B2 Eternal Scavenger, a mech ally with an attack value, a defense value, and a once per turn action to attack. So for this one specifically, banish a card from the top of your deck. Whenever it attacks, you may shuffle a card from your banish zone into your deck. Now this could be a way to slowly accumulate a board state that also doubles itself as a sort of a value generator, because this way you can recur cards that you've boosted at some point throughout the game, possibly banished off Tecla Foundry Heart, cards that are really important to the strategy that you banished along the way that you would like to recur back to the deck, or to simply recur the way to actually build these. So if we take a look at Synthesize, Synthesize Banish itself on Resolution. So the idea is that you could Synthesize B2 and then attack with B2 and actually recur the Synthesize back into the deck. There could be cards that apply Steam Counters that also have Go Again. Synthesize does not have Go Again, so you cannot chain Synthesize and B2 attacking the same turn. Unless if you had an additional action point, which of course you could do with something like High Octane, that card still exists and can still be played in the deck, and that should be worth noting. The reason for this is because I personally think that mech could really benefit from leaning more into the board state. The class name itself seems to imply this, and I think that it could be really fun to give personality to a lot of these possible mechs or allies that could attack or have abilities like Imposing Titan. So Imposing Titan is simply mirroring the Arclight Sentinel ability, where as long as it's on the field, it must be attacked. I meant to put an attack action on this so it would attack for two but the idea is that you would actually play this and not only is it a board state but it's a board state that has to be targeted by your opponent Athena a once per turn effect whenever you banish a card you can actually play that turn so if you boost you actually essentially get to play the card that you banish as well or maybe you banish a card off of b2 right and if these attacks have go again if you boost the card then Athena can actually put in a lot of work here now I haven't actually come up with the cost or the steam counter cost for these but the idea is that they would require resources on two axes the first would be the cost to actually play 
display the construct item. And the second would be the amount of steam counters needed to actually transform it. So that would be a pretty easy way to start balancing these mechs as well, because Athena maybe has way too strong an ability, but maybe if the item construct costs four and maybe it requires like more than three steam counters, then maybe all of a sudden it's actually pretty balanced. And now that effect isn't too strong. That was sort of one way of pushing the class into maybe be more ally focused. You can also have ways to synergize, build that engine. And so here we just have a really simple weapon, nothing crazy here, just a two for three. But I wanted to maybe introduce a way to apply steam counters to constructs with on hits. So maybe this way it starts to synergize where you can play an item and then just swing your weapon every turn and threaten to accumulate steam counters and use Avalon's ability. This is just a one cost once per turn action. The next time attack gets this turn, put up to one steam counter on a construct you control, go again. So in conjunction with Forge Hammer, you could keep a blue every turn and swing three, threatening to put a steam counter on a construct, which would eventually build out your board state, but it could also be denied from your opponent by blocking. And in combination with the ability, you could possibly generate two every turn while still applying pressure. That was one concept. The second concept actually came from a custom card submission from the recent contest that we held, and this one uh, got second place, and this is Endless Iteration. Endless Iteration says draw X cards where X is a number of Endless Iteration in your banish zone. Finale, which was a new keyword, and then you banish Endless Iteration. So Finale requires you to go to your end phase immediately and lose all action points. Cost one, and the cycle comes in all three colors, but the cycle is actually kind of interesting because the cycle is what changes the actual cost of the card. So the yellow costs two and the blue costs three to play. Definitely a really fascinating card, but this was the other direction I was thinking of also that could work out well for mech in the future is if mech transitions into a more combo class. So if you think about endless iteration, the first four do nothing. And once you get past the fourth endless iteration, either by banishing the others or by playing them every single turn and just ending your turn, you start to actually net one on your intellect every single turn because you would draw five cards after you play your fifth copy. You would go into your opponent's turn with five cards, right? So eventually when you get down to your last few copies, you're drawing seven, eight, and even nine cards for one resource. And that goes into your next turn. So if you can imagine going late game, even in an already existing shell, either in the boost shell or in the pistol shell of the deck, you could get nine card hands that could potentially play two maximum velocities in a turn, maybe even three. Or you could high octane and boost like four times and keep a bunch of blues. And we're talking like actual OTKs here. Of course, with the downside that it would require you to somehow get all copies of Endless Iteration into your banish zone. This could open up another avenue for mech that's actually pretty unexplored territory in fab so far which is the idea of a really hyper synergistic combo deck. If anyone is coming from Magic, I think is it would probably be a pretty close example of what I'm thinking about here. Cards that have incredible synergy within each other and lead to almost combo like potential, but are never really technically infinite combos, but just have insane uh, value thresholds that give you massive card advantage and huge amounts of damage. And they kind of build off each other. And I think Endless Iteration would be a really good example of a card like that. So I think Endless Iteration is a really awesome example from this person person who submitted it, suggesting an idea of what mech could be, where mech is now the best example of a setup deck to have a really explosive combo-like finisher. There are combo decks that exist in Fab. They're not really at the same, they don't really feel super thematic. There is Kano, where Kano can set up with pots and oceans and sets up with wildfire, and it, it feels like a setup turn for a combo deck, but it doesn't have that same sort of like building towards the end game that maybe something like Endless Iteration would. And I think a lot of items in mech could really start to push that idea and make it like a really flavorful, exciting class to play. So those are just a couple ideas. This is, of course, not really trying to demand what the class should be, but just two simple speculative ideas about what LSS could do with mech in the future, mainly because it feels like mech is sort of floating in between a couple of identities, somewhere in between a board state, but also in between an aggro deck. And I think that either leaning into a board state, leaning into the ally mechanic, because I think the allies are really cool and there's a a lot of untapped potential there. I think the allies could really benefit Dash a lot, but also there is now that extra idea out there sort of floating of mechanologists as a class, as a combo class, as a setup class that has a lot of huge synergies within its own card pool that lead to really explosive end games and almost near unstoppable finishers. Of course, with the downside that they take a massive amount of time to set up, endless iteration would take really long to set up, would take the entire game essentially. And if your deck isn't prepared to survive that long or doesn't have a game plan in between, I think you would have a lot of trouble efficiently pulling the combo off. But when it does work, it would be a really exciting 
um, sort of end to the game that I think would really benefit the class as a whole. A unique identity that doesn't exist yet, but also I feel the same way about the allies, even though Dromai and Prism have these sort of creature-like board states with allies and with the Spectre auras, I think that it feels super thematic for mech, the idea of building steam counters on these constructs and these mechs and eventually creating them, forging them, and then having their own abilities that interact with boost and banish, I think could really benefit the class. I think that could really tie into themes of mechanologist in ways that aren't just simple temporary board states or just ways to build out your weapon, which we've seen in the pistol build so far. So let me know if you agree with this, if you think that these could be two avenues for mech in the future. Also, let me know if you're actually pretty happy with where mech is at, because I know there are a lot of people that enjoy the idea of building a value engine based around their weapon or enjoy the all gas, no brakes style of the boost version. And so I know that there are a lot of people that are actually completely content with where mech is at and just simply want stronger cards in the pool, but don't necessarily want a different style and mechanics or theme. So if that's you, uh, feel free to let me know and let's just create a discussion around this. This is just something I've been working on for about a couple of weeks now. Ever since I saw that custom card, I've been just thinking about what mech could be. Just creating those custom cards for the ally-based mech was like really exciting. More ideas to throw out there, but thank you for watching.